How much acetic acid and acetate would you need to dissolve to get 100 milliliters of a 50 millimolar acetic acid or ac slash acetate solution at a pH of 5.5? So we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the molar ratio. We're going to use that to figure out the fraction. And then we could use that to figure out the concentration, which we then can multiply by the volume. So in order to do this, what we're going to say is we take our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation rearrangement, and we can basically say that's the molar ratio, our A minus over our HA is equal to 10 to the pH minus the pKa. So that's going to equal 10 to the 5.5 minus 4.8. That's going to give us 10 to the 0 0.7. And if we go ahead and we plug that into our calculator, we figure out that we get 5.0. So what is this telling us? It's telling us that we have five parts of our conjugate base for every part of our conjugate acid. So if we want to figure out the um, fraction of A minus then that's going to equal 5.0 divided by 1 plus 5.0. So that's going to equal 5.6 or about 0 0.83. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out the molarity. And then once we know the molarity, we can figure out the number of moles. We know what fraction of it is in this acetate form. We know the, we know the total molarity um, of the acetate plus acetic acid combined. So this is just going to be that number times our fraction. So times um, 0 0.050 um, molar. And if we do that, we get a value of 0 0.042. And so that's saying that this is molar and now we just need to know our, mil our moles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that concentration, our 0 0.042 moles per liter, times our volume times 0 0.1 liter is going to give us 0 0.0042 moles, which we could also write as 4.2 millimole. So that's how much we're going to need of our acetate. And what about our acetic acid? Well, there are a couple of way, different ways that you could go about doing this. Um, one way is if you wanted to figure out the number of moles in the number of total moles, and then we could subtract that. So what we could do is basically we could say, okay, well, we have 0 0.05 uh, molar, um, times 0 0.1 liter will give us the total moles. And then we basically will get that we have 0 0.005 moles. And then we know that we have 0 0.0042 moles of our acetate. So what's left over is going to be 0 0.008 um, moles of our acetic acid. And so then if we were to go and we would figure out, okay, well, what's the molarity of our acetic acid solution? And what's the molecular weight of our sodium acetate or whatever we're using? We can then calculate how much we'd actually have to physically add in order to get those numbers of moles. But for now, let's just see, does our number make sense? Are we above or below the pKa? We're at a pH that's above the pKa. So would we expect it to be more acid or more base? We would expect there to be more of the base form because there's fewer protons around. So we would expect that there'd be more acetate than there is acetic acid. And if we compare our numbers, we see that indeed this is the case. We have more of our acetate than our acetic acid. So this at least qualitatively seems to make sense.